Hello everyone, and look in which account I am back. Aha! <laughs> I'm back in my personal account. So I figured uh, as to celebrate that, I am going to give you a quick, well, a war story of a very different kind. So uh, this whole thing started, uh, I can't even remember, it was I think almost two weeks ago. When and I, I have I have my press account and my personal account and I'm using them on the same on the same device so I'm constantly switching between the two of them, press is on Asia and personal is on North America, so I logged out of my press account just figured I'd play a couple of rounds in my personal account try to log into my personal account, and then after entering my email address and my password, and clicking login, well I got the little spinny logo for about ten seconds and then I was back at the login. So I figured, okay, uh, probably North American server is down, some connection issues or something. And um, yeah, I'm all just going to try it again in an hour or so. So I tried it again in an hour and got the same thing. I tried it again in the next day and got the same thing. So well, I figured, okay, I'm going to hop over to the community contributor Discord and ask if North America is having any problems. And the response was, nah, NA is fine. So, oh, okay, um, I seem to have a different problem. So I went back and there's a big button next to the uh, ne ne next to the login where it says I uh, can't log in. So I tapped on the button and filled out the form and um, got a very friendly email back from uh, Wargaming Support saying, oh, it appears that you're playing World of Warship Splits. Uh, we can't help you with that. This is the PC section. All right. <laughs> but uh, helpfully enough, uh, well, they said you, you just go and... Um, click on the request support button in the menu in the game, which I couldn't because I, you have to log in to be able to do that. So um, I figured, okay. But they also gave me an email address and I sent an email to that address. Plus I actually started engaging our friendly community manager on the whole thing. So uh, we went on to a tour and tried to figure out what the heck is going on. Why can I not log in? Now, some of you might know that I actually, uh, in my day job, uh, work in IT and uh, not in gaming, but I, I work in oh business more of a business IT sort of thing in cloud computing. And I figured, okay, what if I was on the supporting end of this problem? Uh, because you know, support is 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 really really hard, especially with these kind of things. Uh, why is that? Well, let's let's take a little detour into uh, how this works, right? So. If you're trying to log in from your phone, like like what I did, right? I tried to log in from my phone. You um, enter your password and your username. You click on login. And then a request gets sent and a, an internet connection gets established. But first of all, um, who has to talk to each other? Your device has to talk or my device had to talk to the North American server. The North American server being in North America, obviously. But first, my device would be talking to probably, you know, my router, my Wi-Fi router, which then in turn would be talking to my ISP, which then in turn would be talking to a whole bunch of other hops until eventually we're talking to North America, which means that there were a lot of things in the way between my phone and the North American server that was going to validate that this is indeed my correct account and my correct login and password. And any of these could be doing all kinds of mayhem. Somebody could be blocking stuff. There could be uh, your own router can block stuff, your own device can block stuff, your um, your ISP can block stuff, right? So there's all kinds of stuff that, all kinds of trouble on the route that you can run into between your phone and the Wargaming server that you're trying to log in on the other end. So I figured uh, let's narrow this down because that's something that... Um, uh, if, you're, if you have a, an IT problem and it's complex, you try to eliminate possibilities. So in my case, I went and um, said, okay, I'm going to try this on a different device. I've got, I've still my, borrowed my, my kid's phone, who's he's using my old one, and tried to log in there. And that didn't work either. So I said, okay, it's not the device. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's good news. So next up, I'll try a different internet connection. So I tried to switch over from my 4G connection to a Wi-Fi connection, and that didn't work either. So it's okay, it's not the internet connection then. Next up, I, I was ensuring that I could still log into Asia and I could still log into Asia on my press account. So 
uh, all these kind, all these things were pointing towards the problem not necessarily being on my side, unless somehow the stars have aligned such that when I'm talking to the North American server um, over both of my different internet connections, things go weird. So if it's not me, it has to be the other end, right? So I did. Uh, it's an it's an Android phone that I'm using, so I had a look at the um, at the Android debug logs and see if I could spot anything and. I mean, my kernel is extremely chatty, but uh, I, I did spot um, like a, a, small, a couple of small errors from the display rendering on, on the login screen, but uh, nothing really that would stand out. So that wasn't it either. So the next thing, I had a look at the network communications and I could see that when I was trying to log in, uh, I, my, my phone would start talking to um, uh, Amazon CloudFront, so that's just a CDN. It's a content delivery network. Uh, nothing, nothing suspicious there. It, it's just uh, a way of making stuff available to you more closely by putting the servers closer to you and compensating for slow internet connections. So that's that's nothing strange. It was talking to Facebook, but let's be honest, everybody, everybody and their grandmother these days are talking to Facebook, so that's nothing suspicious as well. And it was talking to the North American server. It did manage to establish a secure connection. It did, um, it, and then there was silence for 10 minutes. And then all three, Facebook, Amazon, and uh, the North American server were resetting the connection and hanging up. And that's effectively what I've observed on the login screen. I had a little spinny icon and then, well, 10 seconds passed, nothing happened. And then I was back at the login screen without an error message or anything else. So I was reasonably certain at that point that it had to be something strange and an A. And that was about the time when um, Wargaming got back to me as well and said, yes, we have actually found that if you log in with a Wargaming.net account from Australia in the North American server, something's broken. And they're actually working and getting that fixed as soon as possible. Fortunately, there is a workaround. So what you can do is you can go to the na.wargaming.net website, log in there with your uh, wargaming.net credentials and just link, for example, a Google account, right? The, so there's a social media tab on the side and you can just link your social media account. And then you go back to World of Warships and instead of logging with logging in with the wargaming.net account, you can log in with your social media account. In my case, this was the Google account. So that way, and because it's linked to the wargaming.net account, I actually land in the exact same, same, same spot. So uh, that, that was a short-term workaround that was uh, suggested by Wargaming and that worked out very well. So if, if you are suffering from uh, account login problems and you happen to be on North America and you happen to be coming from uh, living in Australia and using an Australian internet connection, or maybe just in general, and if you're logging in with a Wargaming.net ID and it doesn't work, um, See if you can connect one of the social media accounts and try to log in through that and see if that works better. So long story short, I'm back in my account. Wargaming is working with priority to get that login issue fixed, but uh, there is a very workable workaround. Just use a different social media account for now. Uh, this might not, this probably won't be fixing all your account login problems, but um, at least uh, it'll fix one of them. So that's it. I just wanted to let you know and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.